I am leaving these things behind in 2023. So the number one thing I'm leaving behind in 2023 is saying that I don't know how to cook. I used to not know how to cook. Legit, um, we, we had a lot of Stouffer's lasagnas, you know? So whenever I would tell Steven, oh, I'm cooking something for you, um, he'd be like, that's not cooking, that's heating it up. So I recently learned the difference between cooking and heating things up. I genuinely thought it was like kind of the same thing. I realized I do know how to cook. I know how to cook really good eggs. I can make pasta. I made steak last night. I can make the ta I can make tacos. Like there are things that I can make, and I'm not gonna like live by this narrative that I don't know how to cook when I do. Number two. Now this requires concentration. Number two thing that I'm leaving behind is not scheduling the beginning of the year for the rest of the year. I want to have a schedule of like the family things that we wanna do, bucket list things, you know, whatever, even beauty things like getting your hair done, your nails done, whatever. Like I want to have that on a schedule because the people that I know who at least have like their beauty stuff on a schedule, they always look good, they always look on point. You know those days when you wake up and you're like, what happened? Like my hair isn't done, my eyebrows aren't done, my nails aren't done, like I'm a mess. I just want to avoid that. I feel like avoiding the stress of that is probably a major key. The third thing that I will be leaving behind in 2023 I can't remember. <laughs> the third thing I'm leaving behind in 2023 is not printing enough pictures. Uh, I have so many pictures of the kids and stuff and the family, but I don't print them. I just recently printed some and I'm like, I have to. It, it gives me anxiety. Like I think about it way too often that we don't have printed pictures because I'm just like, you don't, I don't know. Like the cloud, is the cloud gonna save them forever? I need another way to save these photos, like a mass amount of them. So like, I don't know, I think I might just go old school and get a like photo album. The thing that I am leaving in 2023 is overthinking things too much. Uh, we did a beach cleanup recently. Now, when I tell you I wanted to do this beach cleanup for like two years and I kept bringing it up to my assistant and I was like, we have to do this, this beach cleanup. And then like, I was pregnant so we couldn't cause I was sick all the time. And then it was really hot and it was summer. So I was like, that's not a good time to do it cause nobody's gonna wanna come. And then I got like pink gloves for it, pink garbage bags, like went all out. There was, I bought more plastic than we picked up at the beach. There was no trash at the beach. There was no trash and I was like, what an idiot. I've been sitting here like ruminating over this beach cleanup. Like the beach needs us desperately. And there was no trash. I bought more trash than we picked up. Or I bought more plastic than we picked up. So it taught me a lesson. Stop overthinking things. And like, why don't I just pick up a little bit of trash every time we go to the beach? That would make more sense. Small steps. It doesn't always have to be a big production, but you live and you learn. The next thing I'm leaving behind in 2023 is not prioritizing eating. Sometimes when we're super busy, we run around like crazy and we forget to prioritize eating like, like an actual meal, you know? So prioritizing that. Which kind of goes along with the cooking. The next priority, yeah. the next thing I'm leaving behind in 2023, which I think will genuinely be the hardest, is letting go of thinking that I'm gonna be like the perfect everything. Like the perfect business owner, the perfect mom, the perfect wife. 
it's counterproductive because when you're so like hard on yourself all the time, it impedes on the joy that you have in those moments. So like, for example, me constantly being hard on myself about working and being a mom, like I have a lot of mom guilt around that, but like it impedes on all the time that I spend with my kids because I spend so much time with them, but I get in my head about it every single day and I'm recognizing that it's really pointless because your kids just want time with you. And as long as they're happy, healthy, getting time with you, like everything is good. So there's no reason for me to like, I don't know, beat myself down when I'm trying my best. Does that sound nice? If you're not giving yourself enough grace, it's hard to give other people grace because if you don't think that you deserve it, you don't think that other people deserve it. So in being nice to yourself, you actually end up being much nicer to other people. And that's so true. Ooh, I love this stuff. A good TikTok shop purchase, I think. It was like an ad on TikTok shop, I think. Is that a tiger? It's a tiger? I have a listing appointment in a couple hours. So wish me luck and have a great new year. Cheers. I cooked this by the way. And it's good, it's fine. She really can do it all. Bye.